With adventures coming out every month now, it's nice to be getting story content at a good cadence. However, does anyone else think we've gone off on a bit of a tangent when it comes to the stuff we actually want, or at least expect? It's been around two and a half years since we got the Heart of Fire, where the Flame Art story arc was abruptly stopped, with us getting piecemeal progression during Haunted Shores and Ashen Winds. But once they're over, we got practically nothing. Then, when we do get the next story progression, we're with Captain Jack Sparrow and we get a completely new antagonist group, with Flameheart being reduced to a passing mentioned by Duke. After this, we finally got new story content at the start of the year, with adventures and a promise to return to the magical arms race between Captain Flameheart and the Pirate Lord. Logically, I think we all expected to find out what happened to Stitcher Jim, but yet, yeah, he is nowhere to be seen. All hope is not lost though, as in the most recent official podcast, the devs took some questions from social media, and one of them was asking where Stitcher Jim is, to which Mike Chapman replies, Watch this space. Watch this space. He's out there somewhere. Something tells me we'll be seeing him sooner rather than later. They did confirm that we will be going back to those story threads from Heart of Fire with that paying off soon. So let's have a recap of everything Jim has done in the lore so we can get a better understanding of whose side he'll be on when he does come back. Way back when the Sea of Thieves was discovered, Stitcher Jim was kicking around the seas like many other crews, but he conspired with the Gold Hoarder, before he was the Gold Hoarder, to open the Sea of Thieves to everyone. He was sold a map for the Sea of Thieves by Rathbone, which copies were made, and hundreds of crews would then make their way to the Sea of Thieves. Jim didn't make an appearance again until the end of Athena's Fortune, where him and the Gold Hoarder formed a gang, hunting down the many locked chests of the Pirate Lord. Eventually, when the Gold Hoarders became a trading company, something happened to cause Jim to not be an official member. This is confirmed by Hyde the Hoarder at Morrow's Peak. He says, What? Who told you that name? He bears our tattoo, yes, but the story is not for your ears, and I suggest you don't go poking your nose into business that's above your station. Jim has his own agenda. Jim wouldn't show up again until Forsaken Shores, where it was revealed he was once part of the Forsaken Alliance, helping to explore the Devil's Roar once they broke through the Shroud. It was during these expeditions that the Alliance discovered the Box of Wondrous Secrets, an item that we now know connects with the Sea of the Damned. Jim, enthralled by what secrets could be hidden inside, decided to take a peek in the box, and we don't really know what was inside, but we have an idea. As the objects are so closely associated with Flameheart, it is likely Jim encountered a memory of him, where his influence caused him to go crazy, or so it would seem. Jim hatched a plan to off the Forsaken Alliance one by one, where he murdered them in different ways, with their leader Grace Morrow being the only one to survive this encounter. It was likely Jim did this to prevent the Forsaken Alliance from disturbing Flameheart's rest prematurely, and not to prevent them from using the Shroud Breaker to reach Tribute Peak, the Gold Hoarder's Sea of Power. Grace, surviving the assassination attempt, led to Jim being on the back foot. He was eventually marooned in the Devil's Roar on the verge of death, but was rescued by Wanda the Warsmith. This rescue caused him to become infatuated with her, subsequently turning over a new leaf and joining the Bilge Rats, or so we're told. Jim still had ulterior motives, where he worked with Wanda to uncover the secret to N13, use the Dark Relics to transform Old Boot Fort into the Fort of the Damned, and free Captain Pendragon in a contrived plan to free his true master. Shortly after these events, Jim would continue to serve Flameheart, where he bound the crew members of the Black Witch in the Chest of Rage, needed for a certain ritual. We were enlisted to help Pendragon save his former crew, where we uncover Stitcher Jim's lair. This shrine features a shrine to Captain Flameheart, and open boxes of wondrous secrets, where he'd likely been using them to communicate with Flameheart. Upon journeying to the Devil's First, we dive below the waves into the Heart of Fire, an ancient cave system where Flameheart resides. Eventually, after making our way through the perilous traps, we reach the last chamber, where Stitcher Jim is. Jim plunges his hand into the chest of rage, scorching his arm as the Warsmith watches on. Jim runs into the giant door behind him, and that's the last we ever see of him. We did get a small update in the Sea of Thieves RPG expansion, A Tale of Two Captains, where Jim's transformation into an Ashen Lord likely failed. Some have speculated that he even cut his arm off to avoid the transformation, although we have no idea if this is the case. Personally, I do think Jim is still loyal to Flameheart even after this event, for a few reasons. We've already seen Wanda turn to the Dark Brethren through her rejection to become Flameheart's queen. I don't think Jim will go the same way, otherwise he would have shown up as part of the Brethren already. Along with this, Jim did fall in love with Wanda, but the feelings again weren't reciprocated. I think Jim will not only be hurt by this, but despite his hand being burnt, this will push him further away from her. On top of this, the servant never mentions him as being integral to his father's return, where he does air his frustrations with Wanda's betrayal. Not to mention, Jim has a different kind of tie with Flameheart, where he's been communicating with him directly through the boxes, so he may even know more than Wanda in terms of his grand plan. 
Jim even dived down to the wreck of the Burning Blaze to retrieve the Chest of Rage, this being revealed in the Sea of Thieves vinyl book. Jim's enthrallment is possibly stronger than Wanda's, where he's more of a thrall than she was. Previously, I had predicted that the Flameheart teasers from December last year were talking about the Legend of the Veil vale and the first four adventures. This was not the case with the last teaser. This teaser actually seems to occur well in the future. Captain Blubber suggested the trapdoor opening could be the finale for the adventures, although I think this is tied with Season 8 rather than the adventures. Nonetheless, Rares decided to go on a tangent rather than just focusing on Flameheart for these story missions. Arc 1 was truly the prologue with Athena's fortune versus both Flamehearts, where Arc 2 seemingly continued this, has devolved into Merrick's story, despite him being in the last three adventures. I would be extremely surprised that Rare would carry on the main story in the next arc. I think we'll be off on another tangent with Belle exploring her backstory before the final arc will be Captain Flameheart returning for good, unless that just happens as part of the Reaper expansion in Season 8. I originally did think that Season 7's adventures would be leading up to this, with the reveal happening in this arc, but Rare decided to go with Merrick and the Dark Brethren. Unless Flameheart escapes when we go to save Merrick, but that would be pointless in the light of the Race for the Veil. Vale. The novel comes out in around 4 weeks time, which would give readers a decent amount of time to get acquainted with the lore, with Flameheart returning to be the focus in Adventure 10. Although this is a lot later than I anticipated before, safe to say the story does seem all over the place at the moment. At this point, I think Stitcher Jim will be reintroduced as part of the final plan to get Flameheart back. I had previously speculated Wanda will be helping us to find the Wreck of the Burning Blade, but it has been confirmed Jim knows the location too. It seems he will be more likely to help us, be it leaning us into a trap, or actually switching sides for good. Rare is going to need to tie up some loose ends, and then tie them back together before Flameheart is fully back in his physical form, and Stitcher Jim will be very likely to be part of that plan. So, in conclusion, we have had it confirmed that Jim will be coming back, and it'll be part of the upcoming adventures. We'll likely be off with other characters in Adventure 7-9, to I would hedge my bet that we'll be back with Belle, diving into her backstory, and Jim will be reintroduced as part of the final arc of the year. If you like this video, make sure you drop a like and subscribe, we'll be covering more lore and speculation as the story continues to ramp up through the year. Thanks again for watching, and as always, I'll see you in the next video.